to draw your attention to a movie you release. That was your first movie, All for Women. What is the idea behind it? All for Winnie is actually a movie that talks about, it's basically what is it that causes students that are in the university to pray for hard drugs to the point where they even get so addicted to hard drugs and some of them even fall by the roadside with you know, too much you know, drug. It's, it's basically like who supplies these drugs? Who, how do drugs get into schools? These are students in their own schools, in the hostels. Basically, I mean, like, it's assumed that they are not really coming out to mix up with the you know, general public. They are a student community. How does things like hard drugs get to the students? I mean, like, you, you find out that it's actually students that are actually the, the traders. The students themselves, some of the students, and these people are actually not even students. Some people are in school for seven years, eight years. You see them in school every year. You think they are students? They are not really attending lectures. They are not really, you know, going for classes. They are doing all kinds of frivolous things. These kind of people should be sorted out in school and sent away. A lot of girls are there in the house. They are hanging around. They are lying that they are schooling. Meanwhile, guys will come and be picking them in the school there. They are not really students, but the kind of reputation that they are creating outside is actually causing a very bad shadow on the real students that are actually there, you know, to do the, the real thing that students are supposed to do in school. So at the end of the day, this is what the movie All for Women is about. It's basically a university story of how students get themselves involved in crime, drugs, robbery, and like that. How did you see the Nigerian entertainment industry of today? Nigerian entertainment industry of today. Especially the advent of the young ones coming into the industry. The thing is that young people have always been in the industry right from time. You know, but the, 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 the issue here is the system as in the country, the system does not allow for people to grow, for young people to grow. And the school system itself has dilapidated to a point where students don't even take schooling seriously anymore. I remember when I was in primary school. In primary school, I learned a lot. I learned how to bake that. I still bake till today I learned from primary school. How to sew, like if I have you know, shoes with my button, a little, little sewing things like that, I learned in school. I have to cook a whole lot of stuff, whole lot of, all different kinds of food. I learned in primary school and early days of secondary school that the, this school um, entity itself right now does not have that quality. You know, it's kind of watery, right? Now. I think well, if you have talked to a couple of teachers who base their problems on the government uh, policies, the government is not one. They're not paying salaries. They're not giving putting up policies that are in, in enough and uh, strong enough to um, design a solid background for schools now. I mean I think that I don't know if they still do school sports, school this is like nowadays is like it like they start in and one join you join no one join you but like you know so I think it's, that's from the government. A lot of young stars coming into the industry, so many of them they don't have anywhere else to go. A lot of them just feel well if I can go into a studio and do a song, who knows, maybe the song can just blow. At the end of the day, at least I will now have a background for myself. Even if maybe later they start thinking like, ah, go back to school later. Anybody can go to school later. Research. But then, going to school and write young people is actually the right thing to do. At the end of the day, this, this four young people who cannot be in school either because of one fee or the schools are not even you know, really, except private schools. We find out that now, the only schools that are really having any edge is just private schools. And these private schools are extremely expensive, whereby normal people like us cannot afford these schools. So when normal people cannot afford schools that are, are, are really schools, what would they do? Some of them come to music, some go into acting, some are even into fashion, you know, uh, designing. I know a couple of young stars from my place who have now started learning how to make shoes and stuff like that so at the end of the day it all boils down to the government not being able to create platforms 
for the youth of this country to be able to develop themselves in different you know, spheres of life.